Ladies and gentlemen, let's game to the come video. We're going to be talking about processors and graphics cards. An awful lot of news has been popping up over the past few days regarding the RX 480, which of course has just launched. But now we're starting to hear murmurs, rumblings, if you will, of the RX 490. We'll get to that in a second. We're going to talk about the potential release date for the GTX 1060, and then we're going to talk about AMD's Zen CPUs. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the 1060. The reason we're going to get through this is because it's probably going to be the fastest of the uh, subjects to cover. So a couple of days ago I did mention that we know that the launch for the 1060 is impending. We know that it's quite soon and we didn't realize just quite how soon. Supposedly the launch is going to take place July the 7th according to Benchlife. But that doesn't mean that you can go and buy the cards. The cards will be officially on sale July the 14th. Now, do take note of that date because it's exactly when the RX 480 custom cards are going to be hitting store shelves. It's going to be really interesting to see the two companies duking it out. And of course, at the end of the day, which card is better and which card is the card that you end up purchasing probably comes down to a lot of factors regarding pricing, regarding the performance, and regarding maybe your usage criteria, for example, if you've got a G-Sync monitor, a FreeSync monitor, that type of stuff. We're not awfully sure what the specifications of the GTX 1060 are going to be. Um, actually, much fewer specifications of the GP106 core have leaked out compared to its brothers or the RX series. What we do know, supposedly, is it's going to come in a 3GB and a 6GB variant, which is going to have a 192-bit memory interface. We can also make some pretty educated guesses that it's also going to feature GDDR5 and not 5X, because it wouldn't make much sense. Now, in terms of performance, it's probably going to have around 1280 CUDA cores. As I mentioned a few days ago, fewer than that, and they're probably going to be really cutting their own wrists with um, facing the RX 480, and more than that, and they're going to be slicing the other wrist because they're going to be competing against the 1070. The weird thing is, there are a couple of variants. One is GP106300, and another is GP103400. Now, from what the murmurs are saying from Benchlife, the 300 is the 3 gigabyte model, whereas the GP103400 is 6 gigabytes. Now, it's really weird that these cards have completely different cores, or at least somewhat different cores. We obviously don't know what all of the differences are, but it makes me wonder if we're going to see a different core configuration. So, for example, one could be the 1050, one could be the 1060, or one could be the 1060, and one could be the 1060 tie. Regardless, it's going to be really interesting how these cards perform, what their pricing is, and finally, what is going to be the difference between them and, let's say, the custom cooler versions of the RX 480, and also how they're going to separate themselves from the 1070. Someone on my Facebook actually brought this to my attention. Uh, this was regarding the RX 490. So you know how often in uh, graphics card boxes you get promotional codes for, let's say, the latest game to help sweeten the deal? With AMD at the moment, the free game is Total War, Total War Warhammer. And that promotion lasts till uh, December 31st, 2016. Now, the interesting thing is the website in question, amd4u.com, used to have, and I say used to have because as far as I can see, it's now been removed, mention for the AMD RX 490. There were murmurs that AMD were going to be releasing another card in around October time, which is coincidentally around the time that, let's say, some of their their titles like Battlefield are going to be emerging onto store shelves. It's possible, therefore, that we have two scenarios here. One, the RX 490 was accidentally revealed early, or two, it was a typo and someone fucked up. 
Now, I guess technically they fucked up either way because they shouldn't have shown it to begin with, but that's by the by. Now, what does that mean? Well, I guess theoretically we're going to be looking at a higher end version of the Polaris 10 based card. I'm going to go on record and probably say this is not Vega 10. The reason I'm going to say that is because, well, I think that the 490 is going to be high-end, but I don't think it's going to be the 64 compute units of the current Furies. And from what we know, and this is judging from a LinkedIn uh, post by an engineer at AMD, I don't know if they still work there, they may not now that they've leaked this, but there's an engineer that leaked that they were designing a 64 CU compute unit part for Vega. So it's most likely that this is not, the 490 is not going to be the Vega 10. On the other hand, as with the subject of leaks, rumours and speculations, it could also mean diddly shit and someone, once again, just was thinking as they were typing out the code R9290, R9 390 R9 uh, sorry R9 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 390X RX 470 RX 480 RX 490 as they were just typing out maybe just copying and pasting oh shit that's not a thing that's always possible so you know never underestimate someone being tired working a long set of hours and then just not noticing something because it, it, at the end of the day people are human you can Proof read things a thousand times over and there is still going to be that typo or that mistake that you've accidentally said something's got more RAM than it has or what have you and then you have to correct it. So, may, may mean something, may not. Speaking of which, Zen. So, as you know, Zen is the upcoming processor from AMD and... AMD have not given too much information regarding the performance, only that it's drastically improved over the previous generation. It's about a 40% improvement IPC, that's instruction per clock. Now, we do know that it's coming this year, at least according to what AMD are telling us, and that for the desktop for your home system is going to be known as Summit Ridge. But there is also going to be Zen versions of the uh, Optron processors. Optron, by the way, are specifically for servers. So this is going to be known as Nepal's, which obviously is named after, well, you know, the location in southern Italy. Now, from what we can see, Zuba uh, shipping database has actually shown this off. And what we have is several variants of the um, processors specifically for the uh, servers. So what we understand, AMD are going to be building them, uh, the Zen, and more specifically Nepal's, very much like, I guess, the untechnical term would be Lego. This is very much how NVIDIA do things and other companies do them as well. Basically, though, AMD are going to be taking it to the next level, and they're going to be producing them on an MCM, known as a multi-chip module. Now, from what we understand, the Pauls is going to be fabricated in an 8-core configuration, which is a base design, but you're going to be able to basically slot more of those together to form this MCM. So, for example, you could have 16 cores, or you could have up to 32 cores. What we understand, once again information is somewhat sketchy but you're going to be able to actually create this into a massive APU but that is going to be using AMD's coherent fabric now we don't know when that's going to be and we don't know exactly popping out to the internet from what we can understand though and this is from Fudzilla Nepal's is going to have multiple different variants, including two cores, four cores, and all the way up to eight, uh, sorry, up to 32 cores. And what we also know is that it's going to support SMT, which basically means each core can handle a couple of threads. Think Intel's hyper-threading. Now, what does all of that mean, assuming you're not, you know, running your own server farm? Well, most likely, 
Zen is still very much on track. And through the magic of editing, you didn't know that I just had to go take care of the fact that I had really bad hay fever for a couple of minutes. Anyway, where was I? So, essentially, with Zen, we know that it's on track. Whether it's going to be the gaming nirvana or the performance nirvana that we're hoping for, we can only wait and see. In terms of raw performance, I don't necessarily know if we're going to see Intel be toppled in a core-for-core -core environment. So for the sake of argument, if you have an application which just handles or just can address one processor thread in a clock-for-clock -clock, uh, race, I guess. So let's say both are running at 3.6 gigahertz. Whether AMD are going to be able to beat um, Intel... But what I do feel is that AMD could win in terms of the number of cores or the pricing. And perhaps the platform, the availability, the fact that you've got AM4 which can serve for a myriad of different processes and usages. Perhaps they can basically win with the hearts and the minds of gamers. And this is very much what they did back in the days of the Athlon versus the Pentium 3 and Pentium 4 where both companies were trading blows with one another. The Athlon 64s would be better at some applications and the Pentiums would be better at other applications and it was kind of like swings and roundabouts. But um, anyway, I'm going to get going so hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Oh, and uh, for those wondering about reviews, there is a crap ton of stuff over the next couple of weeks um i can't even describe how busy i'm gonna be <laughs> but um yeah uh just hold on to your butts basically it's one of the reasons i've been so quiet because i've been doing so many well basically prepping for reviews and as i said i think i said in the last video i'm also going to be changing how the graphs and so on are presented on screen which is one of the reasons that the current view is taking so long because I wasn't quite happy with the format so basically I'm buggering around a little bit so I don't necessarily know if the next review is going to be the final format but it's going to be closer to how I want to present the data let's go with that anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video I'll see you soon bye